Well, good evening. It's always fun doing this during the evening. Welcome as we meet at Black Forest Lutheran Church as Black Forest Lutheran Church, this time to celebrate and give thanks to God for all of his good gifts. Tonight we will be taking a processional offering, and I can explain that a little later, but basically you'll just come up, uh, give that to some of our youth, and we will be placing it around here so we can see it. Afterward, that will be gathered and it will be donated um, to Marion House Food Pantry down uh, town, and then the Yoder Food Pantry out east. We worship in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The hymn is number 693. Please notice the verses. Please stand. Responsively, the Psalms, they are printed in your bulletin. I begin, you respond. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And raise God's shout to him in the Psalms. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with us. Come into his presence with sing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever. And his faithfulness to all generations. The prayer for tonight is printed before you. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father, your generous goodness comes to us new every day. 
by the work of your Spirit, lead us to acknowledge your goodness, give thanks for your gifts, and serve you in willing obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I invite the children to come forward. Well, good evening, not good morning, as someone said to me on the way in, but good evening. I'm going to read a short passage, but I want you to think, because I'm going to do a little interactive, and you'll each have an opportunity, if you want, to share something you're thankful for. So that could just be one sentence, could just be one word, all right? So you'll be thinking about that. Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 5, in the middle of verse 18, but be filled by the Spirit speaking to one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making music from your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of Christ. It's a special night tonight that we get to give thanks, but it's really something that we should be doing all the time. But I wanted to hear from you. Is there anything that you would like to give thanks to God for tonight? Family. Bentley says family. Anybody thankful for their family? I, I am. Peyton? My sister. Your sister? She's right over there. She's blushing now. <laughs> Who's thankful for their brother or sister? Yeah. Somebody else? Food. food. Who's thankful for food? <laughs> I'm thankful for food. Especially, we'll talk more on Sunday about what we did on Monday with food. Somebody else? Alex? Our resources and materials. That was a very mature answer. <laughs> Who's thankful for their resources and materials? I am. Anybody else? Anybody else want to share something? I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for our church family. All right. Any last one? Going once? Going twice? Let's pray and thank God. Father, I thank you for these kids and these teenagers and for your goodness in their lives. I pray, Lord, that you would fill them with eyes to see all the gifts that you've given them I, and, and that you would do the same for us and that we would be faithful to give you thanks tonight, but also tomorrow and really every day of our lives, because all we have is a gift from you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. Here a reading from Deuteronomy. Chapter 8. It is Moses who is speaking. Consider he is speaking to you. For the Lord is bringing you into a good land, a land with flowing streams, with springs and underground waters welling up in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey. A land where you may eat bread without scarcity, where you will lack nothing. A land whose stones are iron and from whose hills you may mine copper. You shall eat your fill and bless the Lord your God for the good land that he has given you. Take care. Take care that you do not forget the Lord your God by failing to keep his commandments, his statutes, which I am committing to you today. When you have eaten your fill and have built fine homes and live in them, and when your herds and flocks have multiplied, your silver and gold is multiplied, and all that you have is multiplied, then do not exalt yourself, forgetting the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery 
who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, the wasteland. He made water flow from before you from flinty rock and, fled, and fed you in the wilderness with manna that your ancestors did not know. Do not say to yourself, my power and the might of my own hand have gained me all of this. Remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you these good gifts so that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your ancestors as he is doing today. A week ago, or 10 days ago, we began to talk about what you are thankful for. And so we invited you to put a word or two on a little piece of paper, cut it out, and then we'd hang it on the tree, which we've done. Uh, some of you didn't cut it out, so we cut it out. Um, and there they are. And I simply want to share with you what you and others have written. Basically, what are you thankful for? Three different people said something like, I am thankful for everything that God has blessed me with. Someone said, the fall colors, the weather. Someone else said, the wildflowers, the birds, the squirrels. Someone else even said, I am thankful for my work, for clean drinking water. What do you think this person is thinking? All the people in the world who don't have clean drinking water. All we have to do is just go like this and it turns on and it comes out. Many people said, I am thankful for my family. One, two, three, four, five. This is, I put all these on my desk, ordered them out, and then we took pictures of them with my cell phone. Many said, I am thankful for my family. One person said, I am thankful for my loving, caring family. Others said, family and friends. Two, three, four said this. One said, Christian friends in Jesus. Another said, I am thankful for friends that I can trust. Other people said, I am thankful for my family and God. Several said, I am thankful for our church family. Several people spoke of their families. I am thankful for my husband. I am thankful for my wife. I am thankful for our marriage. One person said, I am thankful for my mom for putting up with me. <laughs> Someone else said, I am thankful for my sister. She is the best sister ever. Say it again. Thank you. She also says, she always helps me with everything. Page one of three. A number of people, one, two, three, four, five, mentioned, I'm thankful for health. One said, for good health. Someone else said, I am thankful for good, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve said they're thankful for health. One said, I'm thankful for the healing of our daughter. Another I am thankful that God sent guardian angels to intervene and protect me throughout my life, my cancer, and through my family. A number of people said, I thank God for my grandchildren. One person said, I'm thankful for my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. Was that you? No, of course not. I am thankful for my pets. Several people 
mentioned, I am thankful for my house. Some of these are multiple. There's many things on them. Two students said, I am thankful for my school. I want you to remember this in a month or two. <laughs> One person said, I am thankful for my warm home. Probably, especially during cold nights. A number of people were thankful for their life, for life, for my life, for my wonderful life. And at least three people mentioned for freedom. That's page two. Page three. I am thankful for not only my family, my kids, but for my church. One said, I am thankful for my life group. Two kids mentioned, I'm thankful for my family and Legos. One was quite direct, I am thankful for my toys. Several people mentioned things that are hard to see. Three people said, thankful for my faith. One, for my strong faith. For your comfort and reassurance. For God's grace and mercy. I am grateful, says one, for the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. One two-year-old wrote, thankful for Jesus. Someone else said, God and Jesus. One person simply said, Thank you, Lord, for sending Jesus your gracious gift of salvation and for my sustenance and well-being. Thank you for your love. Three ended with saying, God's love. God's gift of love. God's unconditional love. There are many things to be thankful for. Often we can't think of them all because there are simply too many. But you have reminded us of many things that we have and experience, all finally from God's gracious hand. We sing our hymn. Professional offering simply is whenever you would like to come. You can simply form a line. Several of our young people, I'd have you join us now, will uh, help us 
we will receive your offerings and then place them in various areas here. Later, after this service, they will be gathered up and then delivered. So you may stand right here. And what you're going to do is grab it for people and give it to us. Okay? Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, King of the universe, for in your goodness you have blessed us with so many gifts. Our family, our friends, those who have come before us that have passed on faith in you and those who will come after us those who our witness may be able to encourage and support we thank you for clean drinking water for the beauty that surrounds us the colors the weather the birds all from your gracious hand we thank you for the hope that you give us in Jesus Christ, for your love which you shower upon us and you show to us in Jesus giving his life for us. For every good gift, some that we see, some that we taste, some that we simply know, we give you thanks through the one who gave himself for us Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, the very one who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Sing to the Lord of harvest your songs of love and praise. With joyful heart and voices, your alleluia's raise. By him the rolling season in fruitful order move. Sing to the Lord of harvest with joyous song of love. Bring to this sacred altar the gifts his goodness gave. The golden sheaves of harvest the souls Christ died to save. Your heart lay down before him when at your feet you fall and with your lives adore him who gave his life for all. Go in peace, serve the Lord.